Welcome ladies and gentlemen and thank you for choosing to spend some of your time with me. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Diecast Masters in 1 to 50 scale Caterpillar 966M wheel loader. Now for those of you who are new to the channel or may not be familiar, this model is actually an updated Tonkin Replicas model that was released uh, three or four years ago. And as you'll see, it doesn't appear as though they've really fixed or improved anything. That's just my opinion. I'm here to present the model. I'm here to show you what it can and cannot do and you can draw your own conclusion from there. So, without rambling on too much longer, let's get into the review. So yes, it does have the operator behind the control, as does every Diecast Masters model. You've got two plastic lights up here that look great. You have your main cylinder that goes to your Z-linkage for the bucket. Uh, there's one hydraulic line on each side that leads to that. The tire has a decent tread. But it appears as though this machine has been working for a while because the tread is really worn down. The articulation across the pivot point is not as high as I would like to see. Showing you straight on, that's the extent both ways that it goes. Additionally, if you look into the pivot point, there are no hoses. Really, there's just warning graphics to, uh, to break up the detail. This little red piece right here is a locking mechanism and uh, on the real machine that would lock across the pivot point to prevent any accidents from happening during transport. Up here you have non-slip texturing and surface all outside of the cab. You have a metal railing, although it's very difficult to tell, especially you saw how flimsy it was, but it is metal. If you look at the wheels, not the tires, the wheels, they've got highlighted bolt heads in silver which look really good and one of the high points of this model is the extreme detail right here it's not perforated but they made it look that way with a bunch of tiny black circles and it looks pretty good Up on top you've got your exhaust and your air cleaner there is a hole in the exhaust on the back of course you have your lights tow bar and the Caterpillar logo right here. Moving over to the right hand side of the machine, pretty much the same as you would see um, on the other side, with the exception of this. I am not familiar with these new cat logo or cat loaders, so if somebody would be so kind to enlighten me as to what this square device is, I'm just gonna guess and say it's a uh, air conditioning unit, but I could be totally off on that, so please somebody tell me what that is. Finally, onward with the functions. Number one, you can see how stiff it was to lift that. Uh, that is the extent of the height, which is poor to say the least. Just how poor? Well, if you take a measuring stick out, it's less than two inches off the ground. Probably closer to one and a half. But worse than that is the dump angle. That's it. That's all you get. So, I don't know how else to show you the um, lack of dumping angle, but you're looking at 1 to 1 1.5 inches for height. That's it. Now, the Tonkin Replicas model had a pin that you could simply push out to remove the bucket. That pin might be right here, but... As I don't modify my models too much, I'm not willing to, to try and push that thing out. It does look like it can have a quick coupler on it, because if you look here, it's just hooked over up on top. Uh, but again, I'm not willing to take a chance on it. But one of the main huge differences between the Tonkin Replicas 1 and the Diecast Masters model is the bucket. You can see it's a much more aggressive bucket, but not only that, but it's black. The original ones were yellow, and it's got teeth where the original ones were a material handling smooth. And your dump height, again, once again, goes to about there when you look at it from the side. So there you go, guys. That is the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 966M wheel loader 1 to 50 scale. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns... Be sure to put them in the comment section below, and thank you for watching as always. Take care, guys.